In this video presentation, we will discuss about the prion diseases. This disease is characterized by neurodegenerative disorder in animals and humans. Is a prion a virus? No, they are not. They are proteins that are even smaller than viruses. This can only be seen through an electron microscope when they aggregate and form a cluster. Next, these prions do not contain nucleic acid, unlike bacteria, fungi, viruses, and other pathogens. Are these prions alive? No, they are not. They lack genetic material and cellular structure. So, they don't have any kind of metabolism. Then, what is this prions? Prions are proteinaceous infectious particle, which is composed of abnormally folded protein. That is, abnormal version of a normal protein. This abnormal protein causes progressive neurodegenerative disorder, named as spongiform encephalopathy, in humans and animals. Spongiform encephalopathy. The word spongiform means sponge like. Encephalo means brain. Pathy means disease condition. So this disease condition causes sponge like brain. In this infection, brain tissue degenerates. And the healthy cells are replaced or occupied by the cyst, which make the brain look like sponge. These are the prion diseases affecting different species of animal, such as scrapie in sheep and goat. Bovine spongiform encephalopathy, also called as mad cow disease. Camel spongiform encephalopathy. Transmissible mink encephalopathy. Chronic wasting disease in deers. And feline spongiform encephalopathy. These are the prion diseases affecting humans, such as Croats Feld Jacob disease, variant Croats Feld Jacob disease, fatal familial insomnia, and Kuru. Prion discovery. These are some of the historical event in the prion discovery. Late 1960s, research showed that an agent causing transmissible spongiform encephalopathy in sheep, that is scrapie, and this agent was highly resistant to ultraviolet and ionizing radiation. In 1982, Stanley B. Prusiner demonstrated that this scrapie causing agent R protein. And Prusiner gave a new term for this agent, prion, which are small proteinaceous infectious particle and are resistant to inactivation by most procedures that modify nucleic acids. In 1997, Prusiner was awarded Nobel Prize for his work. How do you get prions? All mammals appear to have prion protein genes. But Mutation of this prion protein gene may lead to a misfolded protein, that is, abnormal folded protein. This abnormal protein can trigger other normal proteins in the brain to fold abnormally. In CJ disease, mutation at 200th codon causes this abnormal folded protein. In fatal familial insomnia, mutation at 178th codon causes this abnormal folded protein. Next. This infection also spread by consumption of infected meat and meat products. Next, by blood transfusions from the infected one. And also by cannibalism. Cannibalism is the act of consuming another individual of the same species as food. Human cannibalism is well documented, both in ancient and in recent times. As we already discussed, this prion protein are abnormal version of a normal protein. The normal prion proteins are designated as PRP, C where the superscripted C represents the normal cellular prion protein. But the prion proteins are designated as PRP, SC, where the superscripted SC represents the scrapie protein. The difference between normal prion proteins and abnormal prion proteins are The normal prion proteins are made up of alpha helical structures, but the abnormal prion proteins are made up of beta plotted sheet structures. In normal prion proteins, Protein foldings are normal, but in abnormal prion proteins, protein foldings are abnormal. The normal prion proteins are sensitive to proteolytic enzymes, that is, they are easily broken by the cellular proteolytic enzymes. But the abnormal prion proteins are resistant to these proteolytic enzymes. Function of this normal prion proteins in the brain is, intake of copper into the neuronal cells. But function of this abnormal prion proteins is, to induce apoptosis of the neuronal cells. How this abnormal proteins are formed in the brain. As we already discussed, all mammals appear to have prion protein, which are in normal form. But, mutation of this prion protein gene may lead to a misfolded protein, that is, abnormal folded protein. 
this abnormal protein also acquired by ingestion of infected meat. In general, these endogenous normal prion proteins are abundant in the brain, which helps in the intake of copper into neuronal cells. This normal prion proteins, on interaction with abnormal folded protein, will be converted to the abnormal form, that is scrapey form. Similarly, all the normal prion proteins in the brain, on interaction with this abnormal folded proteins, will be converted to the abnormal forms, which get accumulated in the brain. This accumulated abnormal proteins causes neurodegenerative changes in the brain. So, the normal prion proteins in the brain, on interaction with this abnormal folded protein, will be converted to the abnormal forms, which get accumulated in the brain. Clinical manifestation. Early signs, like depression, anxiety, insomnia, dizziness, altered mood, unusual behavior, and tingling part of the body are noticed. And later, signs like dementia, loss of coordination, visual disturbances are observed. Typical signs may not be present, but problems with thinking skills, or balances, will certainly be noted. Can this prions, can be killed? In general, prions cannot be destroyed, by boiling, alcohol, acid, standard autoclaving methods, or by radiation. Infected brains and formaldehyde, for decades can still transmit spongiform disease. Cooking the burger, till it is well done, won't destroy these prions. Can prion diseases, can be cured? Completely incurable, and untreatable. The only promising way is, prevention of transmission. By avoiding. Consumption of infected meat. Blood transfusions. And cannibalism. With this we are coming to the end of prion diseases. In next video presentation we will discuss on the some other viral disease in detail. Hope the lecture is informative and useful. Thank you.